Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 21 of Project Architect. And um there's been a few changes um since the last episode. Um first major change, I went and put waystones into the mod pack because I mean, I know yes, you do have the waypoints on the map and you've got um the the the, the teleporters from uh, RF tools, but I really don't like them. I prefer waystones to be honest, and I just couldn't get my head around it, so I just dropped in waystones because I think that's a mod that should have been in this pack. It makes it so much easier. I mean, if you're focusing on building and not worrying about other things, then I think waystones would have been a, a natural choice. So I dropped waystones in the pack. I've been um putting different stuff in here um also the smelters moved i've moved it over to a smeltery room smeltery room over there uh where's my staff uh, there's my travel staff right so um yeah i i made a few places i oh, know that's the that's this room that hasn't changed up here I thought I needed the uh, the melting chamber and the solidif solidi solidification chamber from, <laughs> from cyclic so I made this very garish room very red it looked better in my head than I thought it would I'm probably going to change it at some point I think I'll change out the um the red terracotta, the glazed terracotta to just plain terracotta. So I'll have like the 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 bricks like they do here, but in red rather than and leave the ceiling. But yeah, it's it's quite quite um quite garish. So I'm gonna change it at some point, but I don't need to be in here. I don't actually need it. I did um I did melt some magma and then I realized I couldn't get it out. So there's that. I also put my um the tinker stuff over here. So the reason why we had to move everything is basically um I need some wither stars. Alright? Nether stars, sorry. I need nether stars. And um we need wither skeleton skulls. So I thought, well okay, I could make a cleaver, I could put severing on it. That would increase the chance of getting skulls because whenever I go into the nether, I can hardly find any withers. But in order to make the, the the cleaver that I wanted, which has queen slime on it, you need to smelt it. You put you need to put it in a foundry, which um, alloys stuff. Uh, no, not a foundry, an allo alloyer, alloyer. That sounds a bit weird. But yeah, you have to put it in an in an lawyer. No, I don't want that. No, it's not gonna let us look. Here you go. And you put things in Oh no, I went and switch did I switch it out? I think I switched out the melter. There is an alloyer that you put here. And you put it in the middle, you look at the, the, the GUI, the GUI, and it will show you the tanks, and each tank has a different liquid and I smelted the liquids in here but then to alloy it I had to put it in well I sm it I'm getting ahead of myself to do to get the queen slime you need magma you need molten magma you need gold and cobalt they all melted in here but they wouldn't alloy because the the um I didn't have any blaze blood so blaze blood gives you a higher um, temperature. So then looking at um, JEI, it said I needed the alloyer. So I made that, but then I couldn't work out. Actually, let me let me get it so you can see what I'm talking about. Also, I've discovered that if you shift and scroll wheel, you only get one rather than half a stack or a stack. 
So there's that, which is good. Right, let's go back across because I have no um I have no transmitter over here. And rather than putting yet another transmitter, I was thinking we should do um chosen's put in a um infinite boosted um wireless trans transmitter. And also you need another star for that, so that's another reason to get another star. But we, we, we need nether stars. All right, let's put you there. So that's the Aloya. And then it will show it would show you what's in the different um, tanks. Because you need seared scorched ingot gauges. So I have um, magma cream in here. And there was the gold in one, the uh, cobalt in the other, because I piped it out from... The main smeltery. Put it in here. I have blazing blood underneath in this tank. And to get the blazing blood, I had to put a um a blaze spawner in here. Actually, let's do it now so I can show you. Uh, sack of holding. Now did I have a look? Right, let's go up and in. All right, I need a block. Let's just put this here as like a, a temporary block. Where's my oh, the the hole is there? So let's put that there. All right, and I need to put seared glass on top, otherwise the blazes will get out. Or any clan of glass, really. But I just put seared glass because I just liked how it looked. Seared. Okay. Why do I have two wands? That's a bit bizarre. I don't know why I have two wands. Right, that's fine. So I've covered the top so the blazes... Well, the blazes might get out, but at least they're not going to fly out the top. Then I look for the, the thing. Ah, uh, why are you? All right, I might have to move the block from here and put it in instead. It's it's actually we could have just put in the glass and then you can see what's going on as well. Put that there. Take you out. Put you here. Uh, where's our spawner? Put the spawner there and the other glass there. So at least then we can see what's going on. And so you take that out. So the blazes will spawn. They die in here and it will create blaze blood. And of course, now that I'm saying that, nothing's going to happen. I oh, know. You know what else I need to do? I need to take away that block. You see. Oh, there you go. Let me see if we're about here. I'll have to keep looking until I find it. Oh yeah, I was too high. Right, there we go. Oh, I've got another trinket. I think Ice Shard gives me Frostwalker, if I remember correctly. But the blazes will spawn, um, and then they die. And then once they die, you get blaze blood. 
How did I get iron in there? I must have done that. But anyhow, you get blazing blood. So you need blazing blood to get a high enough temperature to alloy the two, um, the, the, the three ingredients to get queen slime. So I just moved everything over here because I didn't want to put it in my base. I haven't, obviously you can see I haven't decorated yet. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I started to do that. I thought the textures were connected. They're not. So I don't know. But there you go. There's that. Um, then, um, so after I got my, my cleaver, I decided to go into the nether and um i went looking for wither skeletons and of course that took forever i also discovered that wither ske it's um not only wither skeletons um nagas they're like they look like wither skeleton snakes um i think i killed one so it's probably in my dead list yeah let's have a look Oh, I found out how you go across. You just press the across arrow, which I didn't realize. So yeah, these things. So they they drop with the skulls as well. So of course I was looking for those, couldn't find those and um, it took me forever. And then like halfway through, I discovered quite by accident that time in a bottle is in this, is in this um, pack. Not that you really need it to accept. Well, I guess it's good for when you're on a server because um, most servers will um, will disable the watcher flowing time because, of course, if you've got you know ten people on a server and they've all got fifty watches of flowing time doing stuff, it would lag out your server. So, um, so yes, yeah, so the time in a bottle can be good for that. And I didn't realize it was in it. So it's kind of like, even though I don't need it to the watch of, not the watch of flow in time, time in a bottle, what it does, it collects the time that you've been, that you've been in game and it will, um, convert it so that you can tick accelerate any machine, well, most machines, not any machine, most of them. So it can be very handy if you've got something that's really slow and you need it to go a little bit faster and you, you know, you, you, you just use time on a bottle on it. So I just want to use it, just see how much time I've actually spent in game. So there's that. Um, so yeah, went into the nether, flew around. Um, another neat trick that I discovered, some of you probably know this, but if you click on the little globe down here, it says overworld. But then if you click it, it will show you, oh, is that not chunk loaded? I'll have to go in and chunk load it. Right. Um, but yeah, it shows you all the worlds that you've been in. So, um, yeah, I went all over the nether looking for fortresses. So there was one down here. And because I've updated the pack a couple of times and I've managed to lose the waypoints somewhere so I had to go back and do it so this was um that gold city that um the one that's covered in Cincinnasite that's there the fortress that was close by that's there then I went looking for more fortresses and I found one over here and I looked on the map found some withers uh oh, wither skeletons killed those I managed to get three skulls, but it took me forever just trying to find something, right? I did kill a Nagor or two, but they didn't drop anything, right? And um, there seems to be no other way of getting wither skulls. You can't craft it from anything, so you have to get it as a drop. So, um, so yeah, that's annoying. But we have three skulls. So that means I can make a wither, kill the wither, and get a nether star. Alright, so at least we have we nether stars are EMCable. Actually, let me check. Because I would hate to go through all of this and then they're not. Yes, they are. Okay, cool. So it's like, what do we want to do? Should we go? Because I'm pretty sure. 
but the red Qatar will one-shot it. All right? That's not a problem. It will one-shot it. So we just need to find some place to set it off and kill it. Cheese it, really. So let's get some soul sand. I do have soul sand, right? Uh, soul sand, yes. We need five, right? Um, one, two, three, four. We need four, I think. Let's take six. And we need the skulls. I have exactly three. I don't know why these aren't EMCable or craftable, but there you go. There's not even a wither spawner that I could find. Cyclic has a spaw spawner finder, actually. That's something else that I picked up. S P A W. Yeah, so they have this. And you throw it like you would do any other nether star. Nether star? Um There you go. Um you right click. Did it go? It should have gone straight across. I've seen it. I don't know. It but it's hard it's I I don't know. It's hard to Am I still flying? Yeah. It's hard to work out what's going on, so I just didn't bother with it. And I couldn't I haven't seen any with the spawners anyway. We could try in here, in this big old cave. Yeah, where are we? Come down. Oh, we've got monkeys. Hello, monkey. Is it a capuchin monkey? I just want to see what you are. Don't run off. Yes, capuchin monkey. Cool. Right. Um, <laughs> right. Let's go in here. Because it doesn't matter if in here gets blown up or not. Let's go a bit deeper down in the cave. Yeah, there's some endermen that look like they're having a good time. I think we can go a little bit lower. Okay. All right, let's go here. These guys coming to us. Okay, and then we need the skulls. I hope I'm not making a big mistake. You know, famous last words and all of that. Two, three. Alright, kill one of those. I want a wither rose. If I can get a wither rose, that would be brilliant. Hurry up! Just explode! Explode! There you go. Now, did we get anything? There's the nether star. Strong undead. What was that for? I killed an undead boss. And wither in height, summon the wither. Oh, that was something I picked up in the nether. I have no idea. There's your nether star. And two wither roses. Awesome. I do like this pack because it's made me... It's made me unafraid of stuff because there's certain things that before I would be like, oh, I've got to kill the wither. Oh, I've got to do, you know, I've got to um, uh, kill the dragon. Why have we got all these? Is there a spawner around here? Why is all these all this stuff. I wonder if there's a spider spawner. 
Let's see something. Okay. Through here. I think there's a spider spawner in here. What's that? Oh, appetite. Yeah. See, it went, but you don't know where it went, and there's no way of telling, which is really annoying. Yeah, see, that's annoying. Really annoying. But yeah, it's made, playing this pack has made, it's, it's, because before it'd be like, oh, I've got to kill the dragon, and that seemed like one of those really um intimidating things that you have to do oh there was blue sky this way wasn't there and it's like in the other episode where it was like well okay um go kill the dragon i'm here anyway you might as well just do it and then i i did it and it's like okay it's not as 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 bad as I thought it was, because I didn't have anything brilliant. I mean, yes, I know I had the Qatar, so that made it, you know, easier. But even so, I didn't have, I had a normal bow. It had infinity on it, because I managed to enchant um, one of my bow. I, I managed to get an in infinity enchant on it. But it wasn't brilliant. But it, it definitely demystified everything. So that's one thing I do like about this pack, is it, they, no, it's not. It's not night time yet. Oh, and I got this um, this trophy a couple, couple of episodes back, but I didn't show you guys. Um, if you open 100 loot boxes, you get this trophy, <laughs> which I just think is absolutely hilarious. So, yeah, let's drop in our Wither Star. I keep calling them Wither Stars, the Nether Star and our wither roses um where's the wither rose there it is i mean i don't plan in i don't plan to get into um the getting ether gas so hopefully i won't have to go looking f for any more skulls to make another wither uh, let's put you in. That's learnt. And the two Wither Roses. Awesome. So. Why did I want to do all of this again? I know I said at the beginning. Um, we need the Wither. We need the Nether Star to get into Draconic Evolution. We need it to get the Infinity Booster. I have no idea how that works. But um, we can have a look. Okay, so let's make the infinity booster. Infinity. Infinity range booster. Okay, so I need all of that. I need two eyes of ender, three range upgrades, another star, and three netherite. Which I have. So... I'm guessing does it what I don't I don't even know all right so what do I put it in these are range upgrades not that they're going to be network card All right, let's let's have a look. What's in this range upgrade? All right, let's take one of you out. Ha! It is that. So if I put in more than one, because that is whatever that big log number is. Remember that number, right? Okay, so. If I take these out, 
No, but it's infinity range, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't make it any bigger or smaller. It's just... All right, so... In that case, I should be able to go somewhere where I usually wouldn't be able... Um, let's see, let's go... Uh, uh, let's see, end quarry. I don't know if it works cross-dimensionally. End portal room. Okay, nobody's here. Control G. <gasps> Ooh, that is so nice. That is awesome. And let's go out to the end. Uh, end quarry. Is it still running? I think this might have stopped. Yeah, not scanning. All right, this has stopped. Let's turn you off. Okay, it took all of this. But, I mean, we have um, we have tons of draconium. Oh, it doesn't work cross-dimensionally. Okay. Right, that's good to know. I don't... All... I wonder if I put a wireless upgrade, um, a transmitter out here, it should be able to pick up, I'm assuming. If I put a wireless upgrade here, wireless upgrade? If I put a, trans a wireless transmitter out here and then put an infinity upgrade on it, I should be able to access it in this dimension. I might have to do that in each dimension. Okay. Anyhow, let's go back. Um go back home but yeah if we check the draconium ore draconium I have 6k which should be more than enough for what we need so that's fine anything else that I need what else did I need the nether star for what do we need another star for Okay, to do the everlasting upgrade, the backpack becomes another. How do you make the end crystals? Oh, because you need the end crystals if you want to um, if you want to summon the dragon again. So I can do once we get the the, the draconic stuff. I want to kill the dragon again, so that would be cool. All right, the dimension. Oh, what's a dimension card? What is in our... Hold on. Um, let's make this. And if I put it in here... No, that is... Dimension card. That goes in there. Do I have to right-click it on anything? Card, network card, and that is range booster, but it looks almost the same. I wonder if that would make any sense. Let's go have a look very quickly. Um, let's go here. Ah, oh, it works. Um, go to the end. yes oh well that is brilliant that is absolutely brilliant so uh let's go back home and let's have a quick look is there oh, we didn't have to i could have just stayed there um oh yeah one of my draw one of my storage things is full is the other one finished as well or is that still scanning i should have checked it when i went to the end yeah i think they finish they finished scanning right um yeah because my thing my 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 one of the discs is full 
I was just looking to see what was on it and I think it is mostly um, the ores, dry ice, all of this kind of stuff. You know, we've got thousands on there. And um, yeah, so I was I was just checking. Uh, right, Nether Star. Okay, so we can make the everlasting backpack upgrade. So now it's indestructible, which is awesome. What else can we do? Uh, soul stone. Concentrated essence from Totem of Undying. A Totem of Undying is not EMCable. What's this? Inception makes it possible to put backpacks into the backpack. I like that one. And what else? This is like shopping. You know, you just browse through and it's like, oh, I like that one. I'll pick that one up. We can make wyvern cores. And which helps seeing that we're going to get into, going to start doing draconic evolution. Um, oh, archmage spellbook. Ludicrite block. Nether star mycelial generator, no thank you. What else? Netherite mattock. Infinity wand. Um, we don't really need it because max is a hundred, hundred and one thousand and twenty-four blocks, and so is the diamond wand. And also, um, we've got the the repair talisman, so you don't really need it. What's this? Shield projector for our rest. Oh, that's to build like a withered killer or something. Beacon, mob filter, a chaotic shield control module. Okay. War, raw withering processor, extra dis. Okay. Another beacon. And silk quarry shape card. Okay. But we don't want that. We don't need to worry about that. So yeah, so I feel, you know, we've got something. Oh, let me just stick these in here. No. So at least it's learnt it. And then I can put these in my backpack. And I also upgraded my backpack to netherite. So now I can put these in and not feel like oh my god it shouldn't be in there so that's good and you know what something i've noticed now that i've seen the feeding upgrade i'm never hungry and i don't know why i don't know if it's the the suit or if it's something else i don't know maybe somebody might be able to let me know or is it night time it's night time i really don't know But, um, but yeah, so, oh, I should have gotten a picture with, I don't know what to put for today's thumbnail. Never mind. Anyway, so thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.